Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan with Excel Help Now. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some really uh, essential sports betting calculations. I'm going to have it all in this simple reference sheet. And uh, after going through this video, if you really think this is useful information, like the different formulas and calculations, but don't want to go through the process of creating the formulas and spreadsheet yourself, I will have a link in the description to this exact worksheet uh, available for 99 cents on Etsy, along with a lot of other sports betting uh, templates, uh, a dashboard, a tracker, a parlay calculator, an arbitrage calculator. So a lot of good resources on that Etsy page, Excel help now for sports betting. All right, so let's dive into what these calculations are and why they're useful for sports betting. So the first one is the Kelly criteria, and this is the formula in order to determine the optimal bet size for each bet that you're going to make. And so the components, the, anything in blue is an input, so implied win percentage, we use 35% here. We're getting 20, 285 positive sportsbook odds. We have a $1,000 account value. And then our Kelly adjustment of 0.5 gets us to a bet amount of $60.96 for this specific offer. And so the, the math here is first, you need to convert your American odds, that plus 285 to decimal odds. So there's the formula to that. So if D7 is less than zero, then we take one minus 100 divided by D7. Otherwise, we take one plus D7 divided by 100. So that's just to convert American odds to decimal odds, and you can find that on a lot of different websites for a calculator. And so the formula to actually get the bet amount for the Kelly criteria, criteria is going to be D6, which is our implied win probability, times E7, which is the decimal odds minus one, divided by the decimal odds E7 minus one, times D8, which is our account value, times our Kelly adjustment factor of 0.5. So $60.96. And you can also find out to get a percentage of what fraction of your payroll to bet, you could take your bet amount divided by your account value. So we should bet 6.1% of our account value on this opportunity. So that's the Kelly criteria. Again, that's available online, uh, but it's nice to have it and see the math behind the output. So the second box we'll go down here is this odds converter calculation. And so this is for those of you who are seeing lines that are different than American odds or uh, want to see the probability percentage of an odd. I have those all calculated here. So decimal odds to American odds, formula there. So if E13 is less than two, we take negative 100 divided by E13 minus one. Otherwise, we take E13 minus one times 100. And then a really long formula here, I won't spell it all out, but this is the formula in order to get your decimal odds to probability percentage. So uh, just highlight that up top. You're free to recreate this and just you know, take some time and copy that into your, your spreadsheet you're working on. Uh, go down to the American odds to decimal odds. And then this is, um, I think, a useful conversion here is the American odds to probability percentage. So that's E17 is less than zero. Then we take the absolute value of E17 divided by the absolute value of E17 plus 100. Otherwise, we'll take 100 divided by E17 plus 100. And then our probability percentages to American odds, see the formula there, and decimal odds, uh, another really long formula. So I'll flip through them one more time in case you missed it and want to go back and reference it. But that's the odds converter. Again, really um, common calculator that you're going to find online, but wanted to have it here just so you can see the math behind it. Next one, we'll go actually over to this payout calculator. So you have your American odds, a minus 110, bet amount of $3.03, $5, whatever you want to make it. And then you'll win $4.55 for a total payout of $9.55. So the math there is if K5, if your odds are less than zero, then one minus 100 divided by K5. Otherwise, you'll take one plus K5 divided by 100 times K6, which is your bet amount, minus K6. 
and then the total payout is just going to be your bet amount plus your win. Okay, and then the no VIG calculation. So this is how much VIG is in a specific sportsbook line. So you'll actually need both lines. So if this is an over, under, or a money line, you'll need both sides of the bet. And you put the odds in here. And so then we do the conversion of converting those to win percentage. So it would be this American odds to probability percent formula there. Do that for both. And so you can see this sum total is over 100. So whatever amount this is over 100%, that's your VIG. So you can see we're at 104.11 and our VIG is 4.11. And so in order to get the implied win percentage, which we saw we used up in the Kelly criteria, is you just do a pro rata of taking the sum of you take your big percent divided by the sum of those two, and then you do the same for the other line. So 58.2, 41.8, that equals 100%. So that is the fair, removing the big, and here's the American odds, minus 139 plus 139. So if you're getting a sports book that offers better odds than either one of those for these offerings, then that is a, a positive expected value bet. And then over here is the expected value calculation. So your sports book odds, and then your implied one percentage to get to your expected value. And there's the formula for expected value. I won't uh, read this all out, but I'll stop there just so you can grab it if, if you want to recreate this yourself. Uh, but we saw over here that uh, the odds here were 139 for fair odds, but if a sports book's offering 145 and the implied one percentage is 41.8, then we can see we have a positive expected value just using this as an example. Okay, the final box here, this odds boost calculation. So this is when a sports book offers um, those different opt-ins, especially like DraftKings always is offering 25% or 50% um, boost in your, your payouts. And so I think I, this is one I, I is hard to find online. And so I had the math here to actually know if you're getting uh, if you have an odd of 140, but you're getting a 50% odds boost, how much is that actually going to be as far as the final odds? So the math behind it is you convert your odds, to decimal odds. So we've done this before. So I'll just highlight that. And then you're actually just going to take that and subtract one. And then you'll take your odds boost percentage, so 50% times your decimal odds minus one. And then you will just add your current odds plus this boosted odds, decimal odds, to get to this 3.1. And then you'll take that and convert that to American odds. So the formula we went over here, but I highlighted there for everybody. So let me give an example. So 140, 50% odds boost. So let's go over here. This is just some screenshots. This was actually offered today on DraftKings, so MLB 50% profit boost. And so here's the Chicago Cubs money line plus 140. I haven't selected the, the bonus yet, but you can see max wager $5, 50% profit boost. And so I go ahead and select it and you can see our 140 went up to 210. So that's where it's really helpful is being able to, you see these boosts all the time, but it's, it's nice to, instead of having to put a wager in and just see if you could do it quickly in Excel, and see, okay, this 140 converts to 210. Is that a line I'm, I want? And then also I have uh, on my Etsy page, a arbitrage calculator that uses this formula for those boosts. If you wanted to do, take it, the money line on Chicago Cubs, and then take the corresponding money line offset on the Atlanta Braves and get a risk-free arbitrage opportunity. I have that calculator available. I'll have a future video of it on as well, but just wanted to highlight that that's where I find this most useful on those profit boosts. So that's the that's an overview. I went through it quickly. Feel free to you know, go back and um, stop at wherever the timestamps are that you want for the formulas. And again, I'll have links in the descriptions to this specific worksheet, along with a lot of other sports betting worksheets on my Etsy page. Thanks for tuning in.